Hi, this is Shraddha from Econstruct Design and Build Private Limited. In this video, I am going to tell you about what to do after B.Tech Civil Engineering. But before watching this video, please go and watch my previous video on what's wrong in the making process of a civil engineer. Please do watch that video before watching this video. So if you are already working but you are not satisfied with your current job profile then you must be thinking how to shift to any other profile in order to upgrade your career. So before we begin this video let's understand what are the different options which might be running in your mind. If you are pursuing BTEC or already passed out you might be thinking the very common and obvious option running in many people's mind is to go for post graduation to do ME or MTech in India or go for MS masters in abroad. This is a very common option because after doing BTEC, some people think that if you are not getting a job or they feel that if you go for MTech, we will get much more experience. Let us do MTech. So this is a very common option that is running in the student's mind. The very next option is some people think that we should go for government jobs. So they start their preparation for government jobs, which takes years together to actually get the job. And if you do not get the job, then again, you are in a vicious circle that what next? So after BTEC, you do government exam preparation and then if you are not selected, then again you think, what next? The very next option available is go for a core technical job. But how? The next question arises, how? Apart from all this, there are few other options. There are people who aspire to start their own freelancing work or their own entrepreneurship journey. Or starting your entrepreneurship journey may be your long-term goal after completion of civil engineering. So these are few of the options which are running in your mind already. And if these things are not running in your mind, then there is one more option that I can think of. I have met many people who are thinking, let me shift my career to some other field because maybe civil engineering is not giving me right kind of a break if you are thinking to shift from civil engineering please watch this video and my previous video till end and it may give you a solution it may change your life so please watch the video till end so if you are looking for your first break or the first job then it is clear that you are already done your btech or you are about to pass from your btech mtech or diploma so these are the degrees that you might have got from the recognized universities in India or abroad. You might have got these degrees from the institutions which have lot of aggregations like from NAC or NBA or many other agencies. And you might have worked very hard during your four years of engineering. So after working so hard, after writing those assignments overnight, you must be thinking that how exactly I will get my first core technical job immediately after passing out from my BTEC. And even though you might have finished your degree successfully, you might have passed out from a good institution in India which has so many aggregations. Apart from all this, you might have got good marks also. So in spite of getting all this, there are people who are facing challenges in order to get a core technical job. Or if you are a pursuing student, then these are there are few challenges which you may or may not face after passing out from your degree. So let's discuss that. So now next question arises, now that you have a degree, what is the main challenge in getting a core technical job? If you are going for the job option, then what are the challenges that you are going to face or you might be already facing or you are going to face in future while seeking a core technical job? The very first problem that we have observed, in, especially in civil engineering is they do not have clarity. They, they themselves don't know that what kind of job they are seeking. There are many people who call and say that I am seeking a civil engineering job. If we say what in civil engineering, they are not able to tell that. Because they themselves are not aware that what are the different departments in civil engineering. In each department, what are the corresponding skill sets which your industry expects. And, and whether they have those skill sets or not. And if they do not have those skill sets, then how exactly those skill sets can be acquired? These, If you get clarity about these things, then trust me, 50% of your work is done. Only 50% work would be remaining. This clarity is extremely important, which is missing in most of the freshers pass, passed out BTEC students or those who are passed out one or two years before, but still struggling and not understanding what is their cup of tea. So this clarity is extremely important. This is the first point which you should be noting. The second thing, the second challenge which you may be facing in getting a core technical job is lack of knowledge and skills. You, you might have studied multiple subjects, but you may not know that where those subjects are actually applied in the industry in order to get the output in the project. How exactly the project is executed from start to end and where exactly that particular knowledge which you studied during engineering will be applied. 
now comes the most common challenge that most of you might be facing if you are seeking a job that is lack of experience if you do not have experience companies will say we, we cannot hire you you might have applied in many companies whether a startup company growing company or well established mncs but most of the companies you might have heard that we do not hire freshers because you do not have experience so this is the main problem in this video you will come to know how exactly you can tackle this but now the next question arises if you are a fresher and you lack experience and no company is ready to give you a job because you do not have experience then how exactly you will get your first break because if every company will say that we cannot hire you because you are a fresher then how will you even get your first experience or the first break which will make you experienced only after you start working you will understand that what is the life cycle of a project in civil engineering what are the type of projects what is the first step what is the last step what are the in between steps and how exactly a project is executed by multiple departments and how di different departments coordinate with each other in order to deliver a project and that experience you can get only by getting experience in your first job only by getting the first break now this is the major challenge that most of the freshers are facing that how do i get my first break because i'm sure you all have immense potential as far as the potential is concerned i'm sure if you have completed btech then you will definitely have a potential what you lack is the right direction right guidance and the right break and your first experience or the first break so if you are having these challenges which i just told you then i have a solution for you e construct would be the first company to offer your first break if you are seeking your first break then come to e construct because e construct is the only company which will give you your first working experience your on the job training come experience and after getting this experience i'm sure that you will be able to compete with people who have even 3 years or 5 years of work experience because e construct is the only company which is offering on the job training to so many civil engineers who have successfully got jobs all over india and even abroad now let me tell you what exactly you can do after btech the major challenge for you is lack of experience and if you want experience just pack your bags come to bangalore office of e construct and enroll for any of the master study programs which are the on the job training programs so you get opportunity to get real working experience in any of the departments like it may be a bim department project management department structures department contracts management department or it can be even business development department if you want to go to the business development of civil engineering then you can even get opportunity to work on that we are offering multiple master study programs which are completely on the job training and which will give you real experience along with the experience letter and 100% placement assistance and one thing is for sure this is a core technical placement this is not just a job this is a core technical placement and this will give you immense confidence about civil engineering apart from all this we have another program called master study in contracts management which is a entirely different unexplored department and many civil engineers are not even aware of this again in this department we have a 7 months program which is a master study on job program in contracts management which will be followed by 6 months of internship so again one year of work experience so if you want experience and if experience is the only thing which is coming in between you and your first break then e construct is the only solution pack your bags come to bangalore and join master study programs this is the only program which will give you immense knowledge skills and relevant experience and we assure you that dream job would be a side effect of this training we are starting mega master study batches in june 2020 and the good news is we have two batches in the year 2020 first batch will start on 1st february 2020 and second batch will start on 20 june 2020 these are the two batches which are available for you to start your career and to gain your first break through on job training programs you can also go through employability test and score on our website which is another opportunity given by our company which is free of cost test which will give you insights about where you stand today and what exactly is the expectation of the industry and how much gap is there and how exactly you can fill the gap 
there is lot of career counseling available on our website and you can whatsapp on the numbers given below and we will definitely help you with your career counseling as well so what are you waiting for if you want experience join e construct just pack your bag come to bangalore and kick start your career in civil engineering thank you very much